Awesome. So starting in constructive rest, knees out, feet out wide, knees knocked together to touch, placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. You can place your more dominant hand on either your heart or your stomach, sending more energy through to your heart space or to your intuition, down to your gut. Find a deep breath in, fill up, fill a rising in one of your hands into the chest, and then as well the same into the belly. Fill up as much as you can, and then exhale it all out. Inhale, fill up, feel both hands rise, and then exhale, feel them sink closer down to the earth. Inhale, fill up, focus on sending the breath down into the belly, and then exhale, contract. One more time, inhale, fill up, exhale. Keeping the eyes closed, start to bring your knees into your chest. You maybe grab for the backs of your thighs to help get there. And then rock your knees from side to side, giving your low back a bit of a massage. Once you gain enough momentum, start to bring your knees over to the left side of your space. You can maybe shift your hips over to the right. That allows for a little extra space to be had in the low back. You can also try to bring your knees so that they're in line with your hip. Helps deepen the twist. But keeping your shoulders concrete on the earth, take a breath in. Exhale, sink heavier. <sighs> Inhale, come back through center. Bring your knees in towards the center of your space. Maybe shift your hips back towards where they were. And then maybe rock again from side to side. And then eventually making your way over to the right. Keeping both shoulders concrete, heavy onto the earth below. Yeah. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, find heaviness. Inhale, come back through center. Rock and roll the length of your spine. So bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, and then use a couple of momentum, a couple of rocks to get your momentum up and into a seat. Plant your hands down onto the earth and then come through for a tabletop. So stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. Oh my gosh, this light is shining bright. <laughs> and then as you inhale, sink your belly down, shine through the crown of your head for cow. Exhale, round out through the back, press the floor away, tuck your chin for angry cows. Inhale, flip up through the tailbone, Shine down through the belly, rise in the collarbone, bring the head up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round through the back, broaden through the shoulder blade, and then lastly, tuck the chin down towards the chest. Move through cat-cow, allowing for it to be a tool for your breath, to connect your mind to your body, to your movement. Also allow for it to be an aid to warm up your spine, warm up your core. You're also welcome to invite in any other organic movements. You can sneak your hips from side to side, stretching out through the side bodies as you do, and you move through cat and through cow. You can barrel roll your chest in one direction and then the other. You can come to and from child's pose. You can maybe flip your wrists around if your arms are sore or your wrists are sore, forearms. You can flip it so your fingers are facing you and you can take cat cow this way or maybe flipping to the tops of the hands rocking from side to side this is your time to start to warm up the core and allow for you to get loosey-goosey in that area i'm going to turn down this these blinds <laughs> okay. now once you feel complete Tuck your toes and then send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Could be your first down dog of the day. 
So pedal out through each one of your knees. Press down through the L parts of your fingers. That allows for you to rotate the pits of your elbows towards the front of your space. Now find it, come to your tippy toes, find a bend in your knees, and then close the space between your chest and your thighs. Find a re-straightening through the legs and then send the heels down towards the earth below. Allow for your ears to stay between the biceps. The gaze focused between the two big toes. Inhale, send the right leg up high, heel leading the way with toes facing towards the ground. Exhale, bend your knee and then stack your hip. So try to bring your heels close to the glute as you can, and then lead with the left leg up to the sky. Drop the right arm or with the right leg up to the sky. And then drop the right armpit down in space. Inhale, straighten through three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your space. Plant the foot in between both of your hands. Soften your back knee down to the earth. Untuck your toes. And then as you inhale, rise up on Janiyasana. Low lunge, low crescent lunge. As you inhale, find length up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, sink deeper into your left hip. Inhale, shine up through the crown of the head. Exhale, sink deeper. Pick your ribs up and out of your hips. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. So send the left arm forward, right arm back. Allow for your hips to be center towards the front of your space and then surf your shoulders back in space so that they're stacked directly over the hips reaching energetically with the right hand inhale come back through center then exhale plant your hands and step your feet back downward facing dog you pedal up through your legs once more feeling the differences in the sides and then as you inhale, reach the right leg up, or the left leg up high, sending the heel up, leading with the heel toes towards the ground. And then exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. So try to send the right, the left heel towards the glute. Left and right are hard today. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your space. Soften the back knee down, untuck the toes. Using the core, rise up on Janiyasana. Just as you do on the other side, maybe slightly tuck the pelvis underneath you. Ignite the core, find length in the spine, rising up. Imagining someone's pulling a string up the crown of your head to make your spine elongated. And then using that length, still sink deeper into the right hip flexor. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist to the left. So send the right arm forward, the left arm back. Yeah. Double check to see if you can energetically pull yourself back with your, right, your left hand this time. Try to allow for your shoulders to surf directly over the hips. Inhale, come back through center. And then exhale, plant the hand, step the feet back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your space. And then as you inhale, take tiny steps all the way up to the top of your mat. Bring your feet so that are about shoulder width distance. Take a generous bend in your knees, let your belly rest on your thighs. Grab for opposite elbows for a ragdoll. You can sway from side to side. You can shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Brain drain out anything that's not serving you. And envision a nice stream of anything that is holding you back, that is a crutch to your life right now being poured out through the crown of the head and another deep breath in and exhale beautiful release your hands and then slowly by stacking one vertebra on top of one another come into standing with your eyes closed and your hands to your heart center your anjali mudra Yeah, beautiful. The beautiful thing about yoga is that we not only get the opportunity to move our external bodies, but we also can move our internal bodies as well. So here I invite for you to find your intention, find the reason as to why you have shown up on your mat today. I took a class earlier today and it kind of just hit me um, the theme or concept that I'd like to explore more is where can you be the student when you are normally the teacher? So 
a couple of notes that I had just written down is just where can you learn from simplicity? It is so much to learn from. It can be our teacher allowing us to go back to the absolute basics of every pose, every decision, every situation. And you're able to see so much more. You're able to see it a lot more clearly in what you're called to do, what shape you're supposed to make physically and mentally. Simplicity has all we need to know, looking at the big picture, it allows us to find what we've wanted or what we've stressed about and allow for it to be a valuable asset. So I invite for you as you move through class today, you may have done these poses time and time again, but, and you feel as though you're the master, you feel as though you could teach. Where can you allow for this to, where can you learn from this? Where can you be the student? And this applies into your everyday life with work, with friends, with family, with relationships, where you feel as though you find your mas yourself masterful and allow for that in turn for you to be the student. Find a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Find another inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Ha. Find another deep breath in. This time, seal the lips. Breathe out through the nose. Still restrict the muscles in the back of your throat, creating your ocean's breath, your ujjayi pranayama. This breath allows for you to create heat internally as you move your body externally today. So if you ever find that you are at a loss of where this breath is at, you can always find child's pose, downward facing dog, any sort of break that allows for you to connect your mind to your body, to your breath, which is ultimately what we are trying to do. So find another deep breath in. Exhale through the nose. Ignite your ujjayi, find that fire, and then now we're gonna start to move. So start to flutter your eyes open. And then as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead, find mountain pose, Tadasana. Root down through the feet, rise up through the fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, plant the hands onto the shins, make the number seven with your body. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank. Inhale, shift the shoulders just over your wrist creases. And then exhale, lower all the way down to the ground with your elbows kissing the sides of your ribs like a tricep push-up. Untuck your toes and zip your legs up so much so that your knees come up off of the earth. And then utilizing your back muscles, inhale, rise up, baby cobra. Maybe flip the fingers. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, rise up. And exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, inhale, press up high plank. And exhale, down dog. Find a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Inhale, come to the tippy toes, look to the top of your space. Exhale, step or hop up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank. This time, shift to your fingertips, shift to the tips of your toes, and then only lower down halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come to the tops of your toes, straighten through the arms, shine through the chest, inhale, upward facing dog. Allow for your thighs to be up off the earth, core engaged. Take a breath in. Exhale, down dog. Take another inhale. And an exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Come to your tippy toes. Exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up to Nasana. And exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Find an inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. You're always welcome to release some heat by breathing out through the mouth. You're also more than welcome to skip your chaturanga altogether, jump back 
and just go straight into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. We'll move through our sun two more times. So inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Plant the hands, step the feet back. Lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward dog or baby cobra. Beautiful. Exhale, down dog. Nice, Kelsey. Take a breath in and a breath out. Take down dog or take sun A one more time on your own. You're welcome to add in any sort of additional movements. You can maybe lean from side to side when you come up to your Tadasana, or you can plant your hands and jump back into your Chaturanga if that's in your practice as well. Just if you were to jump back, jump back into bent arms into your chaturanga rather than jumping into a high plank and then lowering down. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, Anna. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful, you guys. And when you're ready and you're finished, meet me in downward facing dog. Yeah. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. So reaching down for the ground still, find a generous bend in your knees, and then come to as flat of a back as you can. Now use that to rise up and out into your chair pose. Yeah. Utkatasana. Allow for your knees to be energetically over your ankles. Your booty is tucked ever so slightly underneath you. And then your low belly is carved up and away from your thighs. Shoulders rested down away from the ears. Hi, Kels. <laughs> Find a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. So send the left arm forward, right arm back. Surf the shoulders up and back. We're only here for a moment. Take a breath in. Exhale, come back through center. Take an inhale. Exhale, other side. Send the right arm forward, left arm back. Double check to make sure that your hips are in line with one another. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Yeah. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your space. Inhale, high crescent lunge. So using your core, draw a line straight up from the ground, reaching up towards the sky, trying to get rid of the wobbles that come from side to side. Allow for your heel to be up and over the ball mount of your back foot. Your knee is directly over the ankle, arms reaching up overhead, shoulders rested down away from your earlobes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. Send the left arm forward, right arm back. As you can tell, we're probably getting into some twisting today. <laughs> Inhale, come back through center, high crescent. Exhale, airplane arms. Sorry about that. So open up through the chest. Shine through the collarbones. Still take that bend in your right knee. Palms facing the ground so that you can give the floor a high five. Inhale, rise back up, high crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So the back foot is parallel with the back of our space. Toes are facing towards the front of our mat. And then our arms are reached out long towards the front and the back of our space. Taking a nice generous bend in our front knee. So that it's directly over the ankle and out towards the pinky side edge of our toe. Gaze is over the front middle finger. We focus so much that everything around it becomes blurry. Out of focus. Inhale, flip the front palm up to the sky and reverse your warrior. Send that front arm up and back. As you do so, Take a nice bend into your right leg, counteracting the stretch of your upper body and the strength in your lower body. Find a deep breath in, fill up those right side ribs, and exhale, stay. Inhale, exhale, side angle. So you can rest your arm on your thigh and then use your front, your top arm to reach up to the sky. 
you want to find a little bit more in your stretch, you can reach for the instep or the outstep of your front foot. And then if you want for more fire, you can float that bottom hand for, to ignite your obliques. Wherever you are, take your booty underneath you. Reach up high with the left hand, take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot. Inhale, dragonfly twist, send the right arm up to the sky, find a nice stretch. Maybe flip your thumb so that it's facing towards your heel and then move it from side to side, opening up the shoulder girl. Beautiful. Take a moment to play here. Light on the left fingertips. Take a big breath in, reach up a little bit higher with the right fingers. Exhale, plant the hands, step the, left, the right foot back to meet the left and take your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Yeah, beautiful. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. With control, inhale, rise up high crescent. Take a breath in to lengthen. And then exhale, soften. Make sure that the back foot's in place. So the heels over the ball mount of the back foot. Take a nice generous bend into the left knee. Knit your ribs up and away. Ignite the core. That allows for your ribs not to be splayed out, not finding a bend in your back. If your core is engaged, your low floating ribs are tucked in. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, open twist, send the right arm forward, left arm back. Allow for your shoulders to be over the hips. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, airplane arms. Air lightning crescent, if you will. So arms are facing down towards, or hands are facing down towards the ground, shining through the chest. It's beautiful. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Allow for that front knee to be over the ankle. So you can look down, you can see your big toe. Rest your shoulders down and away from the ear. So the pinpoints of your shoulder blades are meeting at the middle of your back. Focus your gaze towards the front of your space. Maybe take an extra little bend in your left leg. Flip your front palm up to the sky. Inhale, reverse warrior. Send the left arm up and back. We'll find a generous bend into your left knee. Find that counteraction. Send your breath into your left, so that left rib so you can feel it expand 360 degrees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side angle. So you can rest your hand just as you did on the other side. Rest your arm onto your uh, thigh. Or you can find flexibility. Reach for the ground, instep, the outstep of your front foot. Or you can float that bottom hand. Allow for electrifier to, to be had in the obliques. Envision twisting up your chest towards the sky and then pulling your rib cage out of the hip. Find a breath and reach up a little bit higher with your right hand. And then exhale, frame the front foot, low lunge. Hop onto the ball mount of the right foot. And then as you inhale, send the left arm up to the sky, dragonfly twist. Maybe find your expansion in your wingspan, opening up the shoulders. Maybe flipping the thumb so that it's towards your feet. And then moving your arm from side to side. Looks a little funny. We'll only be doing it on the side. We're just opening up the chest and into the shoulders. Yeah, I feel. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, plant the hand, step the left foot back. Take your vinyasa. Try not to drag your front foot as you step into your plank. Envision one of my teachers, we'll meet in down dog, by the way. One of my favorite teachers told me to treat your yoga mat like really thin, um, like cray paper. So if you drag your heel on it or you drag your arm on it, it could rip. So be very delicate with where you place your hands and your feet. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale. We'll move through that one breath to one movement. Inhale, look to, the tippy, look to the top of your space, come to your tippy toes. And exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink down into into the comfiest chair you've sat in all week. Carve your low belly up and away just as you did before. Take a breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up high crescent. Exhale, open twist to the right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, airplane arms, chest forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reach up with the left hand. Exhale, cartwheel down, circle the front foot, low lunge. Inhale, dragonfly twist, left arm, right arm up to the sky. And then as you exhale, plant the hand, step the feet back. Take your vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, open twist to the left. Right arm, right, left arm back, right arm forward. Oh, other way. Inhale, come back through center, high crescent. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, find length of the right fingertips. Exhale, circle down, low lunge. Inhale, dragonfly twist, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale it out. We'll add on. So inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, open twist to the right. Now listen here. Send your um, weight into your right foot. Then take your left foot and try to connect your heel to your glute. Yeah. Whoop. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step back, open twist, high crescent. Yeah, see what we did there. Beautiful. So you're facing the right side and your left, right forward, right foot's forward, left foot's back. Reaching out towards open twist. Inhale, exalted. So send the left arm up and back, opening up through the left side rib, and then the right hand can just be placed on the back of your thigh. Find a deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So slice through the air with the left hand, and then open up into a warrior two. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse your warrior, still keep the bend in your front leg, and then exhale, side angle. Inhale, sky archer. So you're gonna reach for your right hand with your right wrist with your left hand, and then re pull, actively pull, I have a light right above me, actively pull your right side body up and back. You can come up onto the heel of your front foot, sending the toes up to the sky. But you're straight through both legs, and then actively pulling yourself up and back. Find a deep breath in, keeping the hands, circle all the way around into a wide-legged forward fold, all 10 toes towards the long side of your mat. You may be sink into one hip and then the other. Just take a couple of minutes here, or a couple of breaths here, to kind of sink into the hips. If you have headstand, you're welcome to Go upside down, or you can go into handstand if that's something as well. Yeah, beautiful. Wherever you are, plant your hands onto the ground, and then inhale, halfway lift. Keep the halfway lift with your chest, so your flat back. Now walk your hands towards the front of your space, low lunge. Rise up, high crescent. Yeah. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. You're like, where did that go? It's right here. Now using this force, start to send buoyancy into your right leg. And then as you exhale, start to take flight. Warrior three or airplane, whichever variation fits best for you. Find a flex in your left foot. 
Bring your left hip down in space. Keep up dog with your chest. Try to, try to make the highest points in your body be the heel of your back foot and your chest points. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, one-legged Tadasana. Bring the left knee in line with the left hip. Beautiful. Find a deep breath in here. Exhale, eagle. So cross the left leg over the right, and then bring the left arm underneath the right arm. Find that sinking in that chair that we found at the beginning of our sun B. You can use the, bottom, the floating foot uh, to be on the ground, to be floated, or wrapped all the way around or wherever you are. Bring your shoulders back over the hips. Reach your fingertips out away from the, from the face. Sink deeper into the hips. Stretching out through the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, unravel, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, Shiva twist. So staying on that right leg, we're gonna take our right hand to the outside of our left knee reach our left arm back behind us, maybe focusing our gaze back behind, challenging our balance. And if you fall out, that's okay. Yeah, beautiful. Inhale, come back up through center, and then exhale, open twist to the right. So our legs so exactly where it's at, our open twist is to the right, so our left arm forward and our back. Now, take this left leg, shoot it back, open twist, crescent lunge. Just as we were before. <laughs> yeah, so we're opening up to the right side, just as we were. Inhale, exalted, just where we were before as well. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge. So hook the, end, the outside of the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Bring your hands together at heart center, or you can make a fist with your right hand, placing it into the palm of your left, and then using that force, that stretch of the palms, or the grabbing of the fist to bring your thumbs or your fists towards your heart center to ignite the twisting and allowing for it to find a little bit deeper of a stretch. As you inhale, take a breath in, start to find a bit of buoyancy on the right leg. And then as you exhale, prayer twist. So bring the left leg so that it's in line with the foot, the right foot, and you're still keeping that twist. Yeah. Nice, guys. Beautiful, Tony. Awesome. Take a deep breath in, twist a little bit deeper. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Yeah. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, open twist to the left. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Oh, I apologize. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, chaturanga. <laughs> if you want an option on chaturanga, then do that. But as you inhale, look to the top of your space. And then as you exhale, travel up to the top of your mat. Yeah, there it is. Inhale, halfway to lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Think down into that chair. Exhale, open twist to the left. Feels a little bit better. Start to send your weight onto your left heel, your left foot. And then take your right foot, have it touch your booty. Take a big breath in. Exhale, step back, open crescent. Yeah, nice. Inhale, exalt it. Send the right arm up to the sky. Breathe into that right side body. Place the back hand on the back of the thigh. Take a big breath in. Then with the right hand, slice through the air. Open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, sky archer. Grab for the left wrist with the right hand. And then actively pull that left side body up and back. You can roll onto the heel of your left foot. Both legs straight, maybe toes to the sky. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, circle the arms around, wide-legged forward fold. We'll only be here for about three to four breaths. So you're welcome to take a quick twist, maybe to one side, grabbing for the right foot. 
and then sending the right arm up to the sky. And then maybe switching to the other side. Yeah. Wherever you are, come back through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Put the hands onto the ground. Rise up through the chest. And then crawl towards the front of your space, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, airplane the arms shine through the chest. Start to root down into the left foot. Find a bit of buoyancy. And then as you inhale, have the right leg take flight for warrior three or airplane variation. Try to bring your right heel up high in space. Shine through the collarbones. If you tilt the chest a little bit more forward, can you find your edge? Find a deep breath in. Exhale, rise up, one-legged tadasana. Have the knee in line with the right hip. Take a deep breath in, rise up. Exhale, eagle, send the right leg over the left, right arm underneath the left. Wherever you are, sink deeper down into the chair. Find your fingertips away from the face, rounding through the back, broadening through the shoulder blades, and then bringing the shoulders energetically back in space over the hips. Beautiful. Inhale, unwind, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, Shiva twist. So the left arm to the outside of the right knee, right arm back behind. Allow for yourself to take a moment, find stability. Then inhale, come back through center. Exhale, open twist to the left. So the right arm forward, left arm back, keeping the leg up high. Take a breath in. Exhale, step that foot back, open crescent. Inhale, exalted, so the left, right arm up to the sky, left arm back behind. Exhale, revolved crescent. Put the right arm outside of the left leg. Press the palms together, or if you found that ball and glove, if you ball and mitt, if you will, you're welcome to find that. Wherever you are, press your palms together, try to send your thumbs towards your heart space. Active on the back leg. Try to bring the right hip up in space. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in, try to prepare, find a bit of buoyancy in the legs, and then bring the right leg up to meet the left for prayer twist. Double check to make sure that the knees are in line with one another. And then use that pressure in the chest, or in the hands, to bring your thumb toward your chest center. Try to sink down in the hips so that they're lower than the heart. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Beautiful. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Hannah, you're welcome to move through. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. We'll move through that one breath, so we'll move in and then find our cool down. So inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist to the right. Send the left heel to your glutes, and then step back, open crescent. Inhale, exalted, left arm up to the sky. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, sky archer, reach up and back with the right hand. Circle the arms down, wide-legged forward fold. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your space. Inhale, high crescent, rise up. Exhale, airplane arms. Start to use a bit of buoyancy. And then as you inhale, come back, rise up, take flight. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, one legged Tadasana. Exhale, eagle, left arm under, left arm, left leg over. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, one legged Tadasana. Exhale, Shiva twist, right arm outside of the left leg, left arm back. Take a breath in, 
Exhale, come back through center. Inhale, exhale, open twist to the right. Stay for an inhale, exhale, open twist. Inhale, exalted, left arm up. Exhale, revolved, plant the left arm outside of the right leg. Stay for an inhale, twist, twist, twist on the exhale. Breath in, exhale, prayer. Both legs together, check the knees. Sink the hips down, take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Yeah. Inhale, look to the top of your space. One more side to go. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist to the left. Send your weight into your left leg. Bring the right heel to meet the glute. And then as you exhale, open twist to the left in your crescent. Inhale, exalted, left right arm up and back. Exhale, slice open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, uh, sky archer. And then exhale, circle around, right-legged forward fold. Stay for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge at the top of your space. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, airplane arms. Start to find some buoyancy in your legs. Inhale, take flight. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, rise up, one legged Tadasana. Exhale, eagle, right arm under, right leg over. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, one legged Tadasana. Exhale, Shiva twist. Stay for a breath in, or inhale, come through the center. And then exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, exhale, step back, open crescent. Yeah, inhale, reverse, or exalted. Send the left, right arm up and back. And then exhale, revolved. Nice, Molly McKenzie. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, prayer twist. Sink down in the hips as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice, you guys. Find a deep breath in. Flutter your lips on the exhale. Yeah, take another big breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, right knee to right wrist, half pigeon. Maybe you start to scoot your left foot back in space to try to find a connection or as close to with your hips to the ground. Find a peek over your right shoulder that allows for your hips to be square. Find a deep breath in, shine through the chest. And exhale, maybe drop down onto your forearms. This is comfortable to you. You're welcome to stay here, or if you want to find a more full expression, you can reach your, arm, your elbows out to the side. Maybe rest your forehead down onto your hands. I always like to say that we carry a lot of stresses and tension and emotions in our hips. So a lot of times when we get the opportunity to move them and open them, they don't want to necessarily. So just ignite, acknowledge that as you're moving through and opening up the hips, what is it able to teach you? What is it able to, what comes up? What, how does your body react when you're doing something that is mentally and physically demanding? Inhale, slowly start to rise up onto your hands. Tuck your back toes. Downward facing dog. You can maybe take a couple of circles with your knee in one direction and then the other. Opening up, getting fluid into that hip joint. 
And then when you're ready, send the left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon. The left knee to that left wrist. Take a peek over your left shoulder. Allow for your chilly side edge of your foot to lay flat on the earth behind you. Inhale, shine through the chest. And then exhale, start to walk your hands down onto the earth. Yeah, and Kels, if you have, you need, yeah, take uh, figure four or whichever fits best. Beautiful. As you inhale, envision a nice cooling rush of water that's coming through and clearing out any stagnant energy that may be sitting in your hips. Coming back to our intention, back to our reason, to why we showed up on our space, back to the thoughts that may still be running through our heads. Finding and breathing about the fact of finding what we found as our mastery and trying to figure out what can we learn from it as a student. The rawness of, of basic questions allows us to come back to the simplicity that we see that we master. So how can we use this as a learning tool? How can we see ourselves as students in the areas that we think we could teach us? Start to walk back up onto your hands. You're welcome to come through one more down dog if you need to even out and maybe circle through the legs. If you're ready to just drop onto your hips, you can bring your legs out long. And just stay seated if you'd like. Maybe remove, once you get yourself into a forward fold. You are, I'm sorry, you'll have your legs out long. And then we'll move into a forward fold. I'm trying to check to see where everyone's at. Yeah, nice, beautiful. So as you remove the goodness underneath your sit bones, it rise up as you inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Envision that puppet pulling you up, pulling that string up and out. Take a big breath in. Exhale, keeping the back flat, hinge at the hips. Start to rise out and away from the hips. Maybe reaching towards the feet. And if you can reach the feet and you feel as though you can't go anymore, drop the hands at the side. Try to keep the flat back just for the beginning part of the pose. You can rest your arms down at your sides. Maybe grab for the back of the ankles or the calves. Now that we feel this targeted stretch into our hamstrings, try to round out through the back now, just as you would normally lay. And then find a difference in maybe once you tuck your chin, I know that if I tuck my chin towards my chest, the intensity in my hamstrings is a lot, a lot more prominent. And it's a different stretch that comes in through the glutes as well, the outsides of the hips. So just make note that these little changes and these little adjustments in these everyday poses or everyday stretches that we find of common or that we've been doing our whole lives can just make a whole world of a difference. I also had a teacher that once told me that any sort of connection of the hands and the feet is kind of, um, it's healing because it's a, um, how did he word it? It's an ever like a, a connected that line of energy from the tips of your hands all the way to their feet, so it's like an infinity. So as you find yourself maybe needing to find some help healing or some cleansing, you can maybe do a stretch somewhat similar to this to allow for energy to flow through the body. If you're into that, if you will. Start to slowly rise up. Maybe plant both feet down onto the earth, grab for the backs of the legs, and then slowly start to let yourself down onto your back. Stamp both feet into the earth so that your knees come up like little mountains. Place your hands down at your side so that your fingertips could brush paint a picture on the back of your heels. Now using your strong glutes and your hamstrings, as well as your quads, start to inhale, rise your hips up to the sky for bridge. Maybe start to walk your shoulder blades underneath you using a shelf for your heart. Interlacing your hands. Try to energetically slide your mat out and away from you because you're pressing so hard down into your heels, igniting the quads, and then igniting the glutes, trying to send the, heel, the hips up high to the sky. 
Find a deep breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down, bone by bone, to the mat below. Bring your feet to that there, mat with distance, and then maybe start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. We'll do one more set of bridge. So find your feet back to where they were, find your fingertips to connect with the heels. And then as you inhale, rise up in the hips for bridge. Have your chest chase your chin and the chin up, chase the sky. Keep the chin up and out of the chest. Rise up a little bit higher, take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly start to lower all the way down. Extend the left leg long. Find a bend into the right knee. And then reach for the outside knife side edge of your right foot for half happy baby. So your knee and your thigh is outside of the torso. You can maybe rock from side to side or straighten through one leg and then the other. Find a deep breath in. And then exhale, take that knee, cross it across the body for a supine twist, just as we did at the beginning of class, just with one leg this time. If your knee doesn't touch the ground or your foot doesn't touch the ground, that's completely okay. Keep your shoulders flat down onto the earth, maybe focusing your gaze over to the right. We'll let gravity do its work. If this variation doesn't sit well with you, you're always welcome to, just as we did before, stack the knees at the side. Inhale, come back through center. Bring both knees into the chest. Maybe you rock and roll from side to side, maybe in a clockwise and counterclockwise motion, giving the low back into uh, the tailbone, a little bit of a massage. Now extend the right leg long. Keep the left knee into your chest. And then grab for the outer neck side edge of your left foot for happy baby, half happy baby. Maybe rock from side to side, straightening through the leg, getting into the hamstring. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, cross, 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 over oh. the spine. Allow for your upper portion of your body, your torso, to lay heavy onto the earth. Inhale, bring your knees back through center. Wrap your arms around your shins. Have your forehead connect with the tips of your knees. Give yourself a huge hug. Take a deep breath and fill up the space between your legs and your belly. And then as you exhale, send the legs out long, the arms out long. Find Shavasana. Let your toes come naturally out to the outside corners of your mat. Maybe pick up your shoulders and drop them back down away from the ears. In your hands, lay either palms up to receive or palms down to find grounding. Let your eyelids close. Remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Maybe swallow once or twice, releasing the jaw. Find a deep breath in. Exhale, Shavasana.
Start to wiggle into your fingers and your toes. Find a deepening in your breath. Run your chin from shoulder to shoulder. Reach your arms up overhead. Find a good morning stretch. Make yourself as long as possible from the tips of your fingers all the way down to the tips of your toes. And then gently roll onto one side, whichever side is most comfortable. Maybe your arm being used as a pillow for your head. Corpse pose or shavasana is the death of this practice, but it's also the death of what's not serving you. Fetal pose allows for rebirth. It allows for the intention that you've set, for what you've moved for, what you've breathed for, for finding the student in what you think you may be the teacher to be applied into your everyday life. Gently start to make your way up into a seat with your eyes closed and your hands to your heart center, your Anjali Mudra. We'll seal our practice together with one breath as if we have one lung. Inhale, exhale. Bring your thumbs up towards your third eye center, your center of wisdom, the space between your brows. Thank you so much for being here this evening to share your breath, your movement with me and those around you. The light and the love in me honors and adores the light and the love in each and every one of you. With gratitude, I bow forward. Namaste. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>